man, 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 what's going on, y'all? This is true. You know what I'm saying? Salute to everybody. But the uh, bullshit ass niggas that be blogging and shit. Most have been complaining to me about, like, I'm so glad. But like, y'all made me glad then. If 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 I've been justice for dog the whole fucking time, from the same goddamn city that every motherfucker blogging on, from outside the city. If I've been true the whole time, even with the the, the few mistakes I done made on, on the on the justice for dog, my boy, by the way. Shit, ain't nobody perfect, my nigga. But you know what? <laughs> now, a lot of clickbait going on out there. A lot of clickbait. A lot of motherfuckers are consistently eating of all this pain, all this death in the end time. And can't nobody stop it. Social media is a it's it's a machine. And I'm just on it. I'm just I'm just I'm just in the matrix on this shit. Give me a second. Go for to speak on something. But I want y'all to know where I'm, where I'm coming from. Like what, what I'm talking, what I'm saying, how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Can't stop. I don't knock. I don't even try. I just witness and see. You know what I'm saying? I just see that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many pages you got. You got all to your voice. You can do anything you want to do. You can put a title, a thumbnail up. Hell, you can even go live. And play some regurgitated shit. And the people that's tuned in to you, shit moves so fucking fast that you can fool a lot of people. But you ain't fooling the people that you need to be fooling. Talking to black people on uh, social media. It's not a fucking game. It never has been a game. At all. Period. And if you break that shit down in money, Terry terms, and then pennies on a dollar makes you a fucking slave but you bigger than a slave motherfuckers that's been given something to battle and eliminate each other is a fucking slave to me I don't care how you look at it I don't care how y'all look at it my nigga you, you're not on no, this ain't no goddamn it, uh, fucking black bill shit from the ground up. I don't use to, my nigga. This ain't no, uh, Don Johnson, no BET, black entertainment television. This ain't none of this shit. This is the end of times. You know what I'm saying? This is real motherfucking life. And, uh, I think. Y'all been calculated into this shit to play your part. You know what I'm saying? Stop acting like a motherfucker and excuse my friends. A nigga that ain't never had shit. You know what I'm saying? You put yourself in your mind on the fucking plantation, my nigga. You, you ain't working for your people. You working for the people. Point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? And uh, with that being said, let's get into it.
you say whoever whoever that message hit then you know it's real because motherfucker gonna lose you playing a losing game in a big game but you ain't got the capacity uh the motivation the courage the strength enough god determination you know what i'm saying to fight against the motherfucking system you know why because most of the ones I'm talking about depend on the system. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, uh, what would you do if you had to think for your fucking self? And then what would your neighbor say? That shit so embedded it's unimaginable. Same like to me, everybody, not everybody, but the majority of people that look like me and people that don't look like me. This shit worldwide, bro. You know what I'm saying? Depend on a system that was created from the people that really control the system. So you have to fool the majority to maintain control. Doesn't that make you a slave in your mind? Because I can go deeper than that, but that's, that, that's for a different channel. Once I finish with this shit, once, once I finish doing what I had to do for Flipper Man, I'm on that new, new shit. Trust me. I just turned 50 years old, bro. It ain't no game. And I ain't playing with no motherfucking black men that look like me. They act like them. I'm gonna teach y'all a new code. Try me. Now let's get let's get into it. Let's get into it. Alright. Uh CEO Jizzle. The shit that happened in the FedEx form. It happened a couple of days ago, right? So what happened, how it happened? Let's talk about it. Or well, at least let me talk about it. Let's just start from the information we given. All right. Once again, here we go. Premeditated. Oh, for all y'all that can't find the community post, I don't know what to tell you. Numerous people have hit me up. Where can I find the 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 uh what I uploaded? And I, I know now what I didn't know, so y'all forgive me. So anybody that can help me or tell everybody that's asking me, true, where can we find uh, the official from the, from the MPD? Uh, they report that's telling you a premeditated. It was premeditated. I put it on a community post, but I, I don't even know how. I'm on, I'm on this side. So I ain't on that side. So I always thought people, I thought everybody can see it. Silly me. I just goes to show you. I don't know. I don't know. I just thought. So I guess what I'm going to have to do now before anybody tell me how to tell people how to go view some shit. I always thought I can upload. When I tell y'all I'm, I'm uploading some shit, I want y'all to see photos or whatever. I put it on the, I make a community post. And I always was under the impression that everybody can see it. But now I find out I don't work for these motherfuckers. I don't know everything. But I know what I could do is uh, if I want to show y'all something, then I can just upload it on my IG page, Instagram. That would be true result number two. And you'll, you'll find it there. But anybody can help me tell the people that's been asking me how to, how to view what I thought everybody can see. Now that I found out everybody can't see it, somebody help me with that. And with that being said, oh, right, let's get into it. Glorilla, the recording, the infamous viral recording, as if you needed more attention. Now let's take it back a little bit. Let's back up a little bit. And this is just conversation, peace. Nothing factual here at all. So don't even, don't even go there. 
But you know what? Yeah, I already know how it feels. So coming back and look at the thumbnail I'm here to post. I'm here to use for this video. And then you're going to see the same Glorilla before she was a name. She was standing right next to our boy Flipper, right? Everybody had speculations back in the day. That's how social media moved when it's a lot of motherfuckers talking about the same shit and don't know motherfuckers don't know what they talking about. You know what I'm saying? Don't even know how to play the game. That's not a game. So the motherfucker with the most valuable information has to be born and bred in the city of Memphis. And then that motherfucker, talking about myself, would have to talk different to stay alive and stay ahead, right? Even with no support. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's been speculated that the reason that Glorilla got the glow and a glow gang, right? <laughs> I got some more for those right there. Uh, that glow gang shit come from uh, one of the niggas that's currently in jail right now that, that was a suspect. This shit deep than what y'all think, right? The reason is that some kind of way that we ain't found out yet that put her on, it's the same way dog got set up and back dog and used, you know what I'm saying, all the way to his death. Now, we fast forward almost two years and who's the only one that goes live? With the viral video at the FedEx Forum after she was put on. They give us all this shit with, with, with motherfucking, that little slippery hipper, that little slippery ass shit with that nigga talking in the background. My long little flipper man, you know what I'm saying? And I appreciate that. I appreciate the spirit of Dolph still kicking ass, still getting this shit done, because that shit costs a, what what y'all finna see in the upcoming couple of weeks soon? Is it's the backfire from this shit? I guarantee you that. Uh, it's a big ass investigation going on, and don't never forget. The Department of Justice is in in, in the M town right fucking now from the dog shit. Nobody believes me. From this city and all that, it don't even matter. It don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be some backfire from this shit. But the question, the, the point I'm trying to make is, why her? Out of all the goddamn people that was on on the ticket that supposed to perform. Why does a, a, a what y'all call them celebrities take it upon herself to go live with a nigga in the background timeout? That shit happened right in front of me, from the same camp, and he telling he telling us who was there. Okay, well you you CMG right? Uh, CL Jizzle don't. I ain't never heard him rep no CMG. Maybe I could be wrong. I thought he was on the side that he chose, the way he slide and ride. Attempted murder. You got to get the job done. So it seemed like to me it was a botched ass hit. Like he said, I was dead before I got there. I want to holler at the doctor that brought me back to life. Spooky. Now you made a nigga rich from the compliments of all the goddamn entities that that's supposed to protect all the patrons, all everybody that bought a ticket. Supposed to be safe. Ain't that why they hire security? And so when you split that shit down, it ain't just one person. So it seemed like to me, y'all just gave the nigga that y'all tried to take out uh more money. Uh, to fight the war. You feel me? I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. Memphis always know Memphis business. And, uh, 
this shit doesn't does not doesn't do anything for healing. Doesn't save all the rest of the shit that's in all the inner cities. But this is gonna have to be. This is gonna mean something big. Uh, now it's official. It's on. It's up. Like the young niggas say, it's up, it's up, and it's stuck. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That's for real. So now y'all just made a nigga y'all try to kill a uh, filthy goddamn rich. Now, so, now, so, now since you called a motherfucking name, we know everybody was there. How does shit happen with a weapon in a FedEx form? The same reason the people, the, the MPD, and they, and they fucking, they the same motherfucker they walked over, uh, trampled dog crime scene, my nigga. Same one was in on that shit, so who do you trust? Or America. This shit, long little flipper man once again, bro. Man, this shit, when, when all these details and all this shit get finished, and it, this is this is just push it to a, a, another level. You should be in the end town and hear the buzz, my nigga. A lot of niggas know a lot of shit. I don't know shit, but you know what I'm saying? So decode it, if you will, and I'm going to tell you where it could go. Just go back a little bit, but let me go back uh, to Glorilla and how she made the trade, how she was standing next to the dog. And then all of a sudden came up. Right when dog died. Get it? So y'all do your homework. Y'all nigga good at that. You know what I'm saying? And I salute everybody. Even if you ain't sincere or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you good at. Participate. If you love the flipper man. And you want to see real justice. And you ready to break a motherfucking system. Inside Memphis city streets right before the election maybe maybe a lot of this shit happened because maybe it's a big ass money grab my nigga and all the players is gonna benefit pay your dues it's how corrupt this motherfucking city is no matter where you at just like going to goddamn church and washing your money if I was a big ass dope boy, I'd be uh spreading my money out in, in the church who got the power controlled by the 501c3. Just in case I get in trouble. Then I got a uh, established person in the community that's controlled by the government that can do me a favor and come to court for me. I can buy bring you a duffel bag, wash it, write me a check, or maybe you have to write me a note to the judge. Same like, way well, you have to pay politicians. They don't care about blood, money, dope money, or none of that. They only care about self. And with all this shit going on downtown right now, in, in such a sprout to me, 50 years old, deep, this shit ain't happening. This shit just came about the blue. All the attention on downtown. Because you know what's downtown? The fucking FedEx form. So once again, let me tell y'all, the mayor uh, got a $500 million shit on the line. Once again, let me tell you who fucked that money up. Uh, the motherfucking University of Memphis. Motherfucker trying to invest in and build the Grizzlies. A better stadium. University of Memphis is like, uh, what about us? Don't all the star athletes come through here? They ain't gonna do nothing for us. Uh, interrupt. The money on the line. Now you put that with the fuck, the fact that it gets a $500 million lawsuit pending uh, from the Tyree Nichols shit with Benjamin Crump in town. And then you put that with the fact that they had to release a lot of motherfuckers out of jail that had their civil rights violated and set them free because of any all the five officers that arrest anyone needs, well, they got a lawyer 
Filing suits daily. Put that with the fact that the whole goddamn fucking Bass Pro Shops, in case y'all don't know the subliminal shit, you know what I'm saying? Bad Pro Shop, the Pyramid, uh, caused all of that. Put all that together, and then what you see, when when, when it was been a fad and it was for Bass Pro Shop, bro? Hats, shit like that. Then it started to make sense to y'all, and I'm just true results, speaking in code to stay alive in hopes that my people will understand that the only reason that I can just continuously give y'all the truth in the best way I can is, is, is with the will to outdo these people and outlive them with limited money. So if you don't support me, then go listen to a blog because uh, I did that same shit for Mo3. I know fucking well. They scared to come outside. Ooh, we. That my name true. One love to everybody. And I'll be back to finish talking about this whole slippery. Gorilla, you threw your ass back in the fire. You just couldn't. You just had to do it, didn't you? Can't turn the camera out after the nigga already smoke, spoke. It's too late. So let me see. Let me see who who can peep game. True, man. Like, share, subscribe. I always support. And tell a friend and tell a friend. You heard it here first. And my life is very important to me. So should everybody to be. But you gotta come outside to get this shit done. So support that shit. Cause uh look like to me, I gotta continuously move around. Y'all motherfuckers think it's a game and shit. I'm just watch my shit and then go motherfucking pay them motherfuckers and I don't even mean no harm. Motherfuckers trying to tell me, uh true, you don't even ask nobody for no fucking donation. Niggas ain't no donation, niggas. It's just I gotta motherfucking stay alive. And so if I gotta constantly move around to get the job done, then it's almost like I've been lying from the get-go. Stop it. Before I stop it. You know what I'm saying? Cause you'll never get the truth, even when you can't decode it. And I love everybody, bro. Salute to Henry. Clint, uh, fucking Peppermint Patty, Tamara, the Peanut Tamara, uh, Jody, Christy Sparks. You know what I'm saying? All my people, bro. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't got nothing, I got real sincere love. And these people, these people know how I'm living and know the dangerous game. So for everybody just tuning in, y'all about to make me tap out, bro. It's now or never. It's now or never. And I ain't trying to threaten no motherfucker. I'm just saying. Touching on truth. Yep. You gotta play chess. You know what I'm saying? Even with limited money, bro. They fuck know the truth. Just like half of them know what's going on, my nigga. So who's scared and who ain't scared? Feel that shit. I'm out. One love to everybody. Salute.